What's up? You're watching This Is 50.com's weekly recap with your girl Joy Daly. Singer, reality show star, and maker of the infamous Kim Kardashian sex tape, Ray J, is in the news this week after stating that he would like to eventually run for mayor of his hometown. Ray J believes that he would make a great mayor because he would encourage children to pursue a professional career and to stay away from the whack-ass entertainment industry. But what I would do is show young you know, African American youth or just young kids in general to go and inspire to be a mayor or go inspire to be a doctor or a lawyer because this hip hop shit and this this music industry has got a lot of people clouded and they think that's the only way to go or to put out a sex tape and be successful. That shit is whack. MTV is reporting that Kim Kardashian is the highest paid reality show star racking in over six million dollars this year and charging up to $75,000 for appearances. Get a girl. Oprah did a rare, very personal interview this week with Barbara Walters in which she actually broke down crying when she started talking about her homegirl, Gail King. But Oprah went on to later say that she is not gay. Okay, she's not gay and she gets really annoyed when everybody keeps asking her if she's gay because she's not. But she did cry over Gail and not over Stedman. Describe that friendship to me. Whew, okay. And later in the week, Justin Bieber taught Barbara Walters how to Dougie. She ain't really catch it though. Video of Miley Cyrus smoking out of a bong has leaked on the internet, but the substance that Miley was smoking was not marijuana, but it was a substance very similar to marijuana called salvia, which is actually legal in some states. Happy birthday to Nicki Minaj, who celebrated her 26th birthday this week in Vegas, doing it up really big. And of course, she was accompanied by the beautiful, sexy Amber Rose and Cassie. Um, Lil Wayne was also in attendance along with Baby and all of the Young Money family. Nicki Minaj wore a sequined see-through cat suit which emphasized her infamous ass. While Nicki Minaj and Kanye West are quickly climbing the charts with their albums already going gold in just two weeks, other artists ain't doing so well. Soldier Boy shockingly only sold 13,000 albums during his first week and he was actually outsold by Slim Thug who sold 14,000 records. The government has shut down several popular hip hop websites for copyright infringement and a new law that is passed that allows the government to seize any website that posts copywritten material without permission. Now, Lupe Fiasco explained the need for this new law when he stated that it costs an artist $4,000 to make a song and $800 to make a mixtape. And because of the internet, artists are giving all of this away for free. So how do you feel about this new law? Do you think that it will have a negative or a positive effect on the music industry? Make sure you leave us your comments. In sports news this week, the Miami Heat have won five games in a row after beating the Milwaukee Bucks 88 to 78. The New York Knicks have also won five games in a row, but the top teams on the East Coast are the Orlando Magic and the Boston Celtics. New music videos this week from Young Dro featuring T.I. and Gucci Man. Freeze me. After over 10 years, finally, we have a new music video from Dr. Dre featuring Snoop Dogg and Akon, Kush. Thanks so much for watching This Is 50.com's weekly recap with your girl Joy Daly. Make sure to log on to This Is 50.com. If it's hot, it's here. And you can check me out on Twitter at Joy Daly and on The Joy Daly Show on Joy Daly TV. So make sure you tune in. Same time, same place. We'll be right back next week with another This Is 50.com weekly recap. Peace.